Lucky everyone. <sighs> okay, so for the last 48 hours, basically, this has been my life, staying inside this apartment. Um, <clears throat> Earlier in the week, or like this, let's start with this. Uh, the coronavirus started out in China a while ago, and it spread over here to Korea. And it was very slow moving at first, but in this week, an uh, old lady, 61 year old lady, refused to get tested because she said she has never traveled, or she hasn't traveled out of the country, and she's only been in Daegu for the whole time. So she refused to get tested and she went to church, uh, Shin Shincheonji Shin, Shin Church of Jesus. It's, it's a contro controversial church here in Daegu. I don't know much about the church, but anyway, she went to church and then she infected uh, a few, few of her church, other church members. And that's where it started spreading. So in the week, it was at maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, it was at less than 50. And now it's over 600. So 602 cases. I just checked the information now. And that's, that's, a, that's a whole lot of people. So I've just been staying indoors for the past two days. Uh, well, you see, this, this last few days has been a, quite, of a, quite a roller coaster. Uh, on Wednesday, we went to school and as we were leaving school, we heard that a lot of other schools are closing and even the other campus of the school I work at was also closing. So then we asked what, what's going on and why aren't we closing? And then they said, okay, just come to school tomorrow because the kids aren't allowed to come to school anymore, but the teachers still have to be there. So we went to school on, on Thursday and all of a sudden we just heard, okay, you have the option to stay the last uh, six days of our, we have the option to stay the last six days of our contract, which would be until next Friday coming Friday <clears throat> or that could be our last day and then we can just forfeit uh, some of our pay for the last few, last, few, uh, last six days and then go home earlier so we chose that option for sure definitely uh, um, so Rian and I had our last day on Thursday we basically just cleaned the school and then went home Friday we didn't have schools, but we had uh, inspection in our uh, apartments. But our boss finished the inspection and we thought, okay, after the inspection we would just have a uh, small lunch and then slowly move out of our, our apartments and then move on. But he just said, okay, let's go. So, okay, just get everything out now. Yeah, yeah, let's go. <sighs> and also we never get, we're never going to get the chance to physically uh, say goodbye to our students so that kind of sucked big time it was quite an emotional day on Thursday mostly because of the excitement that we can ac actually go home earlier uh, but also because we're not gonna be able to say uh, goodbye to our students so uh, I moved into my co-teacher Lina's apartment but uh, that's another thing that got cancelled because of this damn coronavirus. She was supposed to get married today, but because of this, some of her family members didn't want to come to Daegu, so um, that got cancelled. But one of her family members from, uh, from England already flew in and she's in Seoul. So yesterday morning, they left to go to Seoul and spend time with that family member before she goes back to London. So they're going to be there until Thursday, I think. So I'm living alone in my... Uh, co-teacher's apartment for the next few days until okay so tomorrow I'm gonna get paid my final salary th salary and then send money home and then on Tuesday I'm going to Inchon getting on a plane and Wednesday lunchtime South African time I'll be home so uh, I was picturing my last few days in Korea quite differently I was thinking about doing some other things like just going to Upsun flying my drone just having fun, going to mom's touch, having the last few meals and just having fun basically. Uh, oh, Rian, Rian already flew home on Friday night. So yeah, uh, I'm alone here in Korea and I don't really want to go outside because I don't want to risk getting infected on the last few days that I'm here in Korea. <clears throat> 
So I've been watching King of the Hill. It's an animated series for the past two days and eating cereal. Luckily, Lina can, from Seoul, she can order food for me and have it delivered to my to to her apartment and then I can just pay for it when it gets here. So thankfully for a very awesome co-teacher I can I can order food in without, e without even ordering it because most of the uh, food ordering apps here in Korea are in Korean. So I can read Korean but I can't I'm not I don't understand everything that I read so it's it's very hard to order food. Um so yeah this is going to be my life for the next 48 hours as well. Tomorrow's Monday, so uh, I'm going to wait until I get paid. Then I quickly have to go to the bank and send my money home. And as soon as that's done, I'm going to get back right into the apartment and watch some more series. So this is actually a very boring vlog entry, but I just wanted to update everyone on what's happening here. I mean, some other people might have a different experience of the quarantine of the coronavirus here in Korea but this is mine so I'm, I'm just gonna stay indoors because I really have less than three days left here in Korea and I don't want to risk it by going outside and outside and catching the virus and extending my stay by being in quarantine so yeah screw it I'm gonna stay inside enjoy my series enjoy just eating and resting maybe doing some indoor exercises every now and then so I just so I don't get too lazy while I'm in here. Anyway, uh, on Wednesday I will be ha back in South Africa and hopefully by Wednesday night, South African time unfortunately, not Korean time, I would be in Senegal and having Whiskey Wednesday with my mom and maybe a lot of other people. So Wednesday when I get back, uh, we're planning to have, uh, on having a braai, I requested lamb chops Bry Broikis, Burevors and uh, Lemon Meringue for dessert. So I, shit, I, need, I still need to call Lynn and ask her if she can make me a Lemon Meringue. <laughs> Lynn, if you see this, this vlog before I message you, maybe, no, 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 you're not going to see this vlog before that. So I still need to ask my aunt to, if she can make me a Lemon Meringue pie, tart, yeah. Uh, but that's what I'm going to have on on... Wednesday for Whiskey Wednesday. I'm not sure what which whiskey I'm going to drink yet, but it's going to be with a lot of people. So it's going to be a, a different uh, Whiskey Wednesday entry. And I'm looking forward to that very much because it's also going to be the first time um, I'm going to have meat from my dad's new braai, braai area at home. So everything, it's worth, it's worth it staying inside for this la these last few days and just quarantining myself from the from the virus actually I would have had, it would have been nice if I had a bottle of wine or whiskey that would have been nice anyway yeah so I'm just going to enjoy being inside as much as I possibly can and then in a few days I'll be home and then away from all this madness hopefully uh, this was not really a vlog to enjoy but consider it an update on what's going on in my life and I'll see you guys again on Whiskey Wednesday. Cheers.